Hello all, welcome to this video. This is the final video in this protection series. So earlier we had seen that how to protect the Excel file with a password. Then we saw that how we can protect the workbook, how we can protect that workbook structure. And then we saw in the last video that how we can protect the worksheet. Now in this video, I'll be showing you that how we can protect the cells. So I'll be showing you two scenarios and that will be really, really important for you. Please see this video till the end and you will get a lot of learning here. We are having two scenarios. So the first scenario is like this. I want to allow my users to only modify this particular table. They can do anything within this table, but they cannot write outside this table. So that is my first scenario. So if you want to allow your users to modify only this table, then what you can do here that first of all, you have to select these cells over here. Then after selecting the cells, you right click here. And when you right click, you are having here the option known as format cells. So I click on format cells. So I'm getting this format cells dialog box. Now in the format cells dialog box, we are having here one of the tab known as protection. So I click on protection here. When I go to the protection, then here normally you will see here locked having a tick mark. So I'll remove this tick mark from the lock. Yeah, so we have to unlock these 10 cells or whatever these uh, cells which are available here. So I unlock, I click on OK button. These cells are unlocked. So people can do anything over here. But now what I want that in the other cells, they cannot do anything. So for that purpose, what we'll do that we will go to the review tab. And in the review tab, I'll click this button protect sheet. In the last video, I showed you that what are the various options of getting this protect sheet. So if you have not seen the last video, then please check out this video. I'm putting the link on the top of this video. I'm going to the review tab. I'm clicking on the protect sheet here. And now here I can decide what I want to allow my users to do in these other cells here, but I'll just now keep it default. I'll give here the password one, two, three, four, five, click on OK button. Again, I give the password one, two, three, four, five, click on OK button. And now I have protected the sheet. Yeah, earlier it was written here, protect sheet. Now it is written unprotect sheets. So here my sheet is protected. Now see, suppose if I type here something, as soon as I type here outside this table, then I can see this warning message. The cell or chart you are trying to change is on a protected sheet. To make a change, unprotect the sheet, you might be requested to enter a password. So I cannot do anything over here. But now if I go to this particular table, suppose if I select this cell where Johnson is written and if I press delete button, you see Johnson is gone. Suppose if I delete this cell here, this cell is also gone. People can do anything within the table, but they cannot do anything outside this table. This is one of the scenario that we are having here. So let me undo. Now what I'll do, I will click this button again, unprotect sheet. I will give here the password one, two, three, four, five, click on okay button. Now it is done. Now what we'll do that in the second scenario, I do not want to allow my users to modify anything over here in this table. Okay. They cannot do anything in this table, but if they want to do anything outside the table, then they are allowed. Yeah. So now we are going for a totally opposite scenario. Again, I'm repeating that here. I do not want to allow my users to modify anything within the table, but yeah, if they want to type anything outside this table, then they can do it. So let us see that how we can create this kind of scenario and how we can protect our table from any kind of modification. So what we'll do first of all, that in this scenario, first of all, we'll be selecting this whole sheet. Now, how we can select the whole sheet? We have to click here, this small button. So I click here, this small button here. And once I click this small button, then you can see that the whole sheet is selected. Now what I have to do, I have to right click here in one of these cell anywhere. I have to right click here in one of the cell and then I go to format cells and then in the format cells, I'll go to the protection sheet here or protection panel and then the protection panel here locked is there. So I have to unlock. I have to remove this lock. So it is now unlocked. You click on OK button. So now the whole sheet is unlocked. Now what we'll do that we will select these cells where we do not want to have any kind of modification. So I select all these cells, right click. I go to format cells and now here what I have to do, I have to lock it. I go to the protection panel. I click on locked. I click on OK button. And now these 10 cells are or the, whatever these cells are there, these are locked. Now, finally, what I have to do that I have to again protect the sheet. So I click on protect sheet. I give the password one, two, three, four, five. Click on OK button again. Give the password one, two, three, four, five. Click on OK button. Now it is done. So now let us see if we can modify anything within the table. So suppose if I select this cell Johnson, I press delete button. 
as soon as i press the delete button it is giving me this error message that i cannot do anything because this is protected suppose if i want to modify this number i cannot do it because it is protected so only this table is protected but if i type somewhere over here now i can do anything over here i can write something i can delete something so outside the table i can do everything but within this table no modification is accepted so this is what we mean by protecting the cells so friends this was the video about protecting the cells where we have seen the two scenarios so please do the practice of these scenarios now in the next video i'll be talking about another important concept which is known as macros so first of all we'll see what is macros we will go through one small presentation and then i will practically demonstrate that how we can create a macro so see you then in the next video thank you very much